This is DIY solar for Tesla. First thing I wanted to do was size the smallest possible system that I could build on my own as a non-electrical engineer, non-solar expert. So I started thinking about this and in the first year I owned my Model 3. We only drove 6,500 miles. I figure about 2,000 miles were done while we were away from home from superchargers. So that's about 4,500 local miles. Divide that by 365 days out of the year, and that's only 12.3 miles per day. Here's the basic idea. I put eight 100-watt Renogy 12-volt solar panels on my roof, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Those go into a charge controller. It's a Victron 30-amp 100-volt charge controller. That goes into a lithium-ion battery. It's a 206-amp-hour SOK battery. That goes into an inverter. I have a Victron Phoenix 1200-watt inverter. That plugs into the car charger, and then the car charger plugs into the car. So let's take a look. So <clears throat> here are the eight solar panels connected up to each other, and then connected... Uh, these two four panels are connected in series and then these two arrays are connected in parallel and they go down the side of the house here. I just put them on concrete blocks on uh, actually doormats to protect the roof and they sit on these pressure treated two by fours and they have solar racks so pretty straightforward. All right I'm in the garage now and these are the cables that come from those solar panels and they come down here and into this charge controller. And then that goes into this battery. And then that battery goes up into this inverter. And the inverter is plugged into this cable, which is the Tesla, this is a mess. I gotta clean this up, but the Tesla charger is plugged in and this is only pulling five amps, so it's not like that extension cord is gonna be a problem. But that plugs into the car, and then to my surprise, when I plugged it in this morning, uh, off this little tiny setup, I've already got plus 10 miles for the day. So I am almost to that target of 12 miles a day with this teeny tiny setup. And you know, most days this car just sits here, we don't drive it. So it'll just add miles while it's sitting here completely green and powered by the sun. And we'll drive it. And if we don't have enough juice, we can plug it into the NEMA 1450, 220, 240 volts and top it off really easily. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions.